So, I've thought about this a while. We know we've talked about it on my show. We've talked about it uh, on social media. Um, what does it take to be successful? Real estate, sales, what goes behind the scenes? Does it really take a camera following you around? I don't know, I've thought about that. And I just thought about the evolution of real estate and sales and how I was speaking with a client the other day. We had the old school MLS books, right? Do you remember those? If you don't, it knows how old I am really, but uh, young at heart, guys. But listen, the MLS book, there wasn't technology. There wasn't a Google, there wasn't a YouTube. We actually held those MLS books and we'd give them to our clients. And that's the only way to get information, right? Information, a lot of the market, they just held on to it. And that book was like the golden golden goose there. Nobody could get the book unless you had that secret agent. Society's changed, market's changed. Everybody, consumers, millennials, they all want it now. Everything's now, 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 now. I know I'm working with my production team. It's how quick can we produce it? How quick can we get things going on? It's like, why in the world do they want to see what we do? But I think Daniel made a great point. So I got Daniel with me. And um, he was like, really nobody knows what goes on. And I had a little conversation with the client the other day, actually just a few minutes ago about, you know, hey, you know, you're in the business of selling houses and blah, 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 and short story, you just stick a sign in the yard, right? You guys don't, you don't do anything. So I said, well, so many of agents in the marketplace really don't do anything. And that's the biggest frustration in real estate. And the challenges that we have is that most agents stick a sign in the yard, and they wait for somebody else to sell it, or they just be average. I don't want to be average. We want to bring you tenfold. I want to give you 110% of everything that we do. Our team, our staff, everything's dedicated for that. So you're going to follow us today. You're going to follow us this journey. And as we approach 2019, I'm going to show you a little bit about what we do. We may talk about sales. We may talk about relationship. You know, my wife, we own a company together. And uh, so we're, we're evolving in a lot of different aspects. We've got a lot of marketing going on digital, social media, TV, radio. So, so many different things that are going on that we're doing that is not just average. So I said, okay, we'll start with this first vlog. We'll put it out there. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about it. Who really wants to go around following us all day? Like, is it that exciting? Probably not. More importantly, it may be for us. It may be for my family. But I think you'll never say, we put a sign in the yard and just hope somebody comes. You'll see we work and we give you 110%. So as we go today, we're in line. We're grabbing something to eat real quick. We're going to go out some investment properties. You're going to follow us out there. Come back. We'll shoot a radio show. Talk to some more clients. So thank you guys for staying with us. Today's going to be a busy day. Stay with us. Get it, man. You getting it? <laughs> so I got this property for a client that's coming in out of town. We'll check this a previous condo. Cute little condo, won't last long over here. But literally, literally, literally seconds of everybody running down the street. Everybody. It's that time of the year, guys. Things are getting moving, things are popping. Just because it's the holidays, don't think things are moving and shaking. Part of the biggest thing that you're gonna follow us and things we're gonna do, is gonna show you real time how we're moving. Hopefully, if you're buying, selling, in sales, you have gotta understand that timing is everything. The quicker you can produce, the quicker you can make something, the quicker the public sees it. If you're slow, you think about it, we all have those challenges. This little condo, looking at this property, kind of how our day is going pretty quickly. You went to some of the investment properties that we had. So not only are we selling, but we're keeping investment properties that really make a scene. Not only are we going through looking at properties for our clients, helping people with relocations, we're investing, we've got a family, we've got a little one, that's life. That's what it's all about. I think the biggest thing that you're looking for when you're picking an agent, I think the biggest frustration, as I was talking about earlier, is a lack of communication. The biggest thing that agents in this business that think that they can just get a license, get in the business, and kind of just put a sign in the yard and hope it sells. Guys, in today's technology, we're texting, we're emailing, uh, we're Skyping. Uh, we've got clients out the country that we're talking to. You've got to be available. One of the biggest things that we talk about is some of our hiring clients. And believe it or not, yes, some of our hiring clients, the agents won't pick up the simple phone, man. I had a guy, we were working a deal. 
could never give him the phone number, would not give out his number. How are you going to do a deal, man? How are you going to put a deal together? You can't. You got to be available. Part of the reason I want to do this vlog just to let you know how available we are. This phone will ring off the hook. We hit it early and we end late. I think that's what you're looking for. See? Speak of the devil. Somebody's coming, man. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hey, what's up, Chris? Okay. All right. Let me get over there tomorrow and I'll call you first thing. All right, man. Thank you. Everybody. So, I mean, it's just constantly <clears throat> with investments and contractors, man, it's just constantly back and forth, back and forth. I mean, it's hard to juggle all these things. But um, are we watching something? What are we watching, Danny? We're watching something about motivation. Man, it's, it's about how you're growing, what you're pushing. It, it ain't what you could do in the past. I was telling somebody the other day, man, it's, it ain't what you sold last year or what you did last year or, you know, these guys are working out how buff they were. I used to hit the gym. It ain't about that, man. Because what you did in the past isn't going to help you in the future. In the public and society, if you're in the service industry like we are, man, it, it's a competitive, very competitive business. And if you're not evolving, if you're not in growing, you'll be left behind. So listen, this is our rant for today. I don't know if we're going to end it today. We're going to end it now, Daniel. I don't know. You know what? Before we leave here, let, let's let's go let's go shoot this radio show real quick. The biggest thing that I think we need to talk about is is going on the radio and getting that out for the Christmas show. I wanted to say, Daniel, man, can we just call it in? It's the holidays, man. I don't want to do anything, but I wanted to bring those uh, show to you. Just want to get on the radio show and have a little fun with you, man. We're going to talk about some Christmas tunes. We'll talk about the end of the year and uh, just spend the last holiday with you before it starts new year. I appreciate all you guys following us, watching us. I'm excited about this vlog, man. I'm excited about it. I'm a little nervous about it. See if you would want a camera following around with you. But uh, we're going to do it. We're going to have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you want to look at. Any comments? Do you like it? Don't like it? Let me know what you think. You want to talk about? What should we do? Any ideas? I'm always up for opposition. I'm open for a lot of different things. More importantly, man, I like your feedback. Subscribe, like us, follow us. 2019 is going to be great. We've got a busy life, you know, selling real estate, owning uh, multiple businesses, working with the public in general is never an easy, easy task. So I thought you guys come along with me just kind of get an idea of what we do in a day. So I brought Daniel, we're going to run down to our apartment. Got some issues I've got to handle being a landlord and we're going to talk about investing in real estate today and everything that goes involved in owning residential real estate or commercial real estate. All right, so we're here at our apartment. Gonna do some landlord issues. Um, it's always a fun part of owning residential real estate. Not all of it's glamour and glitz. So we got an eviction that we had today. This is the unfortunate part of the business. Sometimes if people don't pay, there's a process that we got to deal with. And unfortunately today we had to do an eviction. So I want to walk you along, show you the process and see what we do. And let's go ch chat with our guys, so come on. So you're out in front of one of our buildings and this is a 20 unit apartment that we're working on. We talk about multifamily in that space and why it's so important to own multifamily and how you can scale out larger. But understanding with multifamily comes a lot of headaches. You know, the old saying, toilet, termites, and tenants. Well, that, that, it definitely comes in play. So we just had an eviction today, so we had to deal with the heartache of trying to let somebody get evicted. And all that process that comes through owning residential real estate. Listen, the old saying, no pain, no gain. If you're not putting the work and the effort in, this property that we have, we actually have to spend a lot of time going through and remodeling, updating property leaks. So all that comes involving with residential real estate. So if you're not willing to get in there and get your contractors and deal with those things, the investment not, might not be for you. But the opportunity for investment and rental long-term growth is definitely here. And so that's why we're here. And uh, that's what we're talking about. So come on, follow me, Daniel. Come on. How you doing, buddy? It's kind of, some guys are still wet. So let me turn this thing. No, you got it. You can hear Rush. That's fine. What was Rush saying today? Oh, man. <laughs> he doesn't feel it. 
I know, he's, he's, uh, he was going to do it another couple years. We were just listening to him. Sure, sure. But you can see it's a lot of work. I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm taking 20 homes, essentially, and, and redoing them. All right, so we pulled up at one of our properties. So I told you it's been a busy day. So you've been following us. I told you to get a little glimpse of what I've got to do and what it really takes to be successful in the real estate market. As you know, we sell a lot of real estate in town, but we also do some investing. So we're in a property that we're renovating. I just heard, me and Daniel just heard in the news, actually from my office, we talk about the property markets and the flip market actually going down. So this is called a flip. So if you're thinking about getting into real estate, what you want to do is buy a property. You want to buy a property that needs a little love, needs a little attention, needs a little detail. And so we got our crew working on some things here in the next couple months, actually in the next couple weeks, where we're going to go in, we're going to paint it, we'll give a new carpet, new appeal, change the landscaping. We've done a whole lot of different things here. It's not a finished product yet, but what we're going to do is ideally in the real estate market, you want to buy at a really competitive price. So if you're thinking about getting it, the money is made in the buy. So if you think about residential real estate, everyone wants to flip and buy. And, um, you know, as Daniel and I were talking, we're talking about a $50,000 house. You can't over budget, guys. When you buy the property, you got to know what the home is worth and what you're going to sell it for. Now, that's challenging in today's market. So with the market changing, interest rates going up, what are you going to purchase for? How long are you going to hold the property? In the flipping game, it's all about speed. Got some things working here. Don't see a whole lot of speed going on. I got to get the crew going on. But we've had some things that we've dealt with, challenges on the process of it that always come up. So when you're buying residential real estate, it's important to know that you're going to deal with things that are unexpected. We bought this at auction. So when you go through auction, there may be water issues, there may be termites, there may be things that you never see. A lot of these properties, you never have an opportunity to do an inspection on. You buy them sight unseen. So that makes it challenging. One thing I want you to know, if you're thinking about real estate or investing in it, it's time. Your time is important. And when you're in real estate, you understand that this is a full-time job. Flipping or renovating, the biggest challenge that you're gonna have is dealing with the contractors. If you're a contractor, I'm sorry but you know how that business goes. It's managing everybody, keeping them on schedule and making sure that all the tasks are where we need to be because time means everything, guys. If we sit on this project for another month or two and we don't get it done, we may miss the market. So know what you buy it for, know what you're gonna exit your strategy. And then of course, we've gotta keep our costs down. Keeping our costs down and managing the project and making sure everybody's on budget and see what's going on. So hope that you find this helpful. Thank you guys for following us today. What we're doing, real estate, everything going on. As you can see, it's a busy life, working on another deal right here. And uh, you know, that's just a day in the life of us. Catch us next time.